worked. It Yay! worked. It worked with a little bit of uh, sort of ah, uh, ah, mm, uh, mm, yeah. here and there. We were just but, messing around, and Pete said, "What is? I think that would work together." Yeah. So you were playing the police, and I went, "Hang on, just play that again." Yeah. And I added this. Well, I don't know where it is. What is this? It's White Stripes. I'm kidding. Of course oh, I see. I know. I see. Everybody I see. knows sorry, that. Sorry, if sorry. you ever listen to any show or anything, everybody goes, oh, 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 oh. You okay there with your new lapel mic from Shaw? I'm okay with my new Shaw X V L one eight one eight three. Are you sure that you are okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, okay. We are not talking about. Uh, lapel mics today, even though it's really nice to have and try out. Yes. And um, we're talking about some new Yamaha FG800 series. Yeah, I think I think we need to say welcome to Acoustic Guitar Paradiso. We do! I'm Mick. And I am the guy who can't remember what we're doing. Yeah. Who's also called Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Alias, aka, that guy. Pete. <laughs> yeah. You can call me Pete. <laughs> you yeah. can if you call me anything, Pete. Moving swiftly along. Yes. Right, come on then. So, <laughs> Yamaha 800 series yeah now uh let's do potted history so yamaha has been making acoustic guitars for about 12 centuries Started yeah i think they, it was bc did, did uh um who was it the the knights around the table yeah. actually it wasn't the, yeah, the it wasn't sword, the sword in the stone it, it was, was actually a yamaha, yamaha guitar yeah and uh and then james taylor came along in, in 1974 the, and pulled it out yeah. and said i'm gonna play that and he goes uh You've got a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So, um, we, uh, so Pete and I and Dan and, and Lee were all at NAMM in January and Yamaha talked us through the new 800 yeah. series, which is an upgrade from the 700 series. And interesting because Yamaha's FG 180 guitar is 50 years old yeah. this year. Since 1966. So th if you're watching in the future, this is 2016. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the 50th anniversary yeah. of the FG180, which was Yamaha's entry into kind of affordable acoustic yeah. uh, guitar. And so uh, they're constantly upgrading. They're always upgrading. They're always doing things a little bit better. They're always moving forward. And of course, being Yamaha, it's usually competitive price points. So um, the 700 series, which has been hugely popular, very well priced, nicely specced, yeah. is no more. And it's now 800 series. Yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. And we've got a few of them here. There's, of course, many different uh, colors, combinations, and woods, and all of this different stuff. Yeah. So you can see. Um, not unlike Taylor, in fact, the um, the numbers kind of, as they get bigger, the guitars get better. Yeah. And so, like, like Martin does as well. Yeah. You know, when you've got 45, there's more bling. And <laughs> 18 is more of a uh, 15 is less. Yes. Yeah. So, so there we go. So there we bigger go. Bigger number. Uh, but we're still, I think, the most expensive guitar here is 355 pounds yeah. <laughs> at today's um, price. Yeah, links will be below for yeah. pricing. Yeah, yeah. Right, so let's start at the beginning. Um, FS800. Yeah, so that's the f that's the entry of, of yeah. the Yeah, this, of is, the this is where it range. begins, and this guitar is nine pence. Nine pence, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually, uh, it's, um, 100 and it's currently about 190 quid, so it's a yeah. sub 200 pound guitar. Yeah. It has a solid, Sitka spruce top yeah. and uh, what they call NATO um, or Okume. Okume? Yeah, Okume. Is, is that not like a, uh, is that like where they fold um, not paper? It's when they <laughs> fold, <laughs> it's when they fold, you know, when you got a coffee, a drip coffee machine and you take the filters out, but afterwards, yes. so you shake the coffee off yeah. and then you fold that in to little animals and, uh, yeah. and then. Or candle holders. It might be that. You put candles in, that's okukume. <laughs> or it might be... Or it might just be a sort of wood. Or it might be a sort of wood. Yeah. Um, in laminate form. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, as we said, underneath the solid six piece top. And very nice vintage tint on this. You know what? I was looking at that and I was thinking, that looks really nice. Because my, my wife's uncle, uh, Clang, has got one of these original old Yamaha guitars. Oh, has he? Uh, and I'm not sure how old it is, but I th you know, you know, you know, which one it is. And it's, I believe, it's uh, it's the same color as that. And yeah. It's, but it's but that's gone down with time. It looks really nice. And actually, yeah. that guitar plays really well. Yeah, I, I have well, told I, him, Johnny, I've, Johnny, I've told you to put heavier strings on it to get some better tone out of it. But. <laughs> I've noticed <laughs> uh, that the strings are well played on this guitar, which means somebody yeah. likes it. 
Yeah, it's, it's always a good sign. It's I think we got that one from the shop floor, mm. and the other ones we took straight out of the box. Right. Um, okay. So yeah, as we said. Solid Sitka Spruce Top, uh, Laminate, NATO, Okume, um, back and sides, NATO Neck. Uh, Yamaha has redeveloped NATO. the bracing for the whole 800 they series, have, have so it's now scallop? scalloped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which it wasn't before. Yeah. Um, and what that means is you can use kind of more brace, but you scallop a bit of it away, which makes the whole thing kind of, makes enables the top, if you do it properly, enables the top to move quite nicely, but still keeps the guitar nice and structurally uh, Sound. Sound, yeah. yeah. So basically, when you've got a, a, a bracing which is normally like this, they just they just cut it down in the middle like that. Yeah. So so you can use thinner, the taller well. braces. Yeah. Um, and it just makes the guitar a bit more, more resonant. Flexible in the top, yeah. Um, they they're all six hundred and fifty mil scale. Okay. Which is round about Fender standard or thereabouts. Okay. Um, twenty five and a half inches, just twenty five point six inches. Yeah. Uh, and they all have forty three. Mil so it's a, and, and the neck is kind of uh, not too slim and not too chunky. I noticed so reshaped. It feels nice. Oh, Re that's uh, reshaped. Okay. So yeah. you've got more in the shoulder. Yeah. So there's more. Um, depending on how you like your necks. Um, personally, I quite like a lot of shoulder in the neck. But so in the top here. Yeah, and just at the top and the bottom. So it's kind of rounded. Yeah. And then the fingerboard edges are rolled off a little bit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and right. there's a bit nice. of a taper Lovely. going on. So it's a new. It's a. It's a tweaked. Neck shape, basically. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And what have we got tuner wise? Must be Yamaha's, Yamaha's own tuner. Yeah, there. just decent yeah. quality. And yeah. they're built in Yamaha's Chinese factory. It's Yamaha's own factory, obviously, state yeah. of the art, mega factory. Do things very well. They probably build all their stuff and guitars and all, uh, electric guitars and sorts. It's a maybe. It's a big old factory. Yeah. Um, um, and I've just noticed here, which is really cool, there is a little l label on here which says FG Selfie. Hashtag start here FG. Oh, I see. So that if you can zoom in on that, campaign, so this is a social media campaign. So if you, if let's see if we can get you guys to do this hashtag, that would be fun. See if we can get uh, some uh, hashtagings going on here. Nice. I'll probably do it. We should do one yeah. like now, except it will take ages, but let's, we'll, we'll do one before the end of the video. How about exactly. That? And we'll pop it out on Anderton's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, video channel. Right, come uh, on then. So. Uh, this is the 800, as I said. Is that the 820, Pete? This one here is the 820, yes. Okay, so next up from, from 800 is 820. That's obviously yeah. a slightly bigger body style. This is FS, that's FG. Solid mm. Sitka Spruce Top, and this is Mahogany back and sides. Yeah. So, it looks really have nice. I like the, I like the, uh, y y the sort of yellow tinted. Yeah. It looks good. Just looks mm. nice and traditional. Yeah, exactly. Shall good. we, let's have a compare, shall we? Yes, we shall. So this is smaller body. Uh, the entry level one, that's, we've gone up about a hundred pounds Okay. that one. Yeah. And you can get that in left-handed too for all you lefties out yeah. there. I, I did notice when I was uh, getting the guitars in that there are kind of left-handed versions of mm. these. So if you do, if you do require a left-handed guitar, then just uh, call one of the guys in the store. I'm going to get one in for you. Right, come on. Yeah, okay. Well, f we like this call. make a nice uh, oh, okay. thing in here. Oh. <laughs> right, so what we had there, we had a uh, Dunlop Prime Tone and a 1mm uh, Dunlop Nylon pick. One is a bit softer than the other, and we just swap them around. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right, okay, I see, yeah. Feels a bit different. 
I've made a terrible mistake. Um, this is actually an FS, they're the same body size. Yeah, I thought when, I, when you gave me that, I thought, that's the same, isn't it? So anyway, but that's, so, okay, so yeah, the yeah, FS they are the same. 800, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, um, actually, just to make the point. Yes. You see, FG, FS, FS, FG, FS, <laughs> Dreadnought. FS. Smaller. Is that not a hat? That sort of, that we were wearing, FS. Yes, it is. It is. We should get a fest, shouldn't we? We should I've have a show where we got like. I've have you got, got a fest? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, fest is a great hat. Anyway, here's. Uh, I'll just now. I've got this guitar on here, and um, I like this guitar. I like the way it's kind of um, simple. Yeah. It looks simple. It feels kind of. Um, not when I say simple, I, I I don't mean simple as in, but it's the look. It's, there's less of it, you know. Yeah. And I do like guitars to be um, not as bl blingy and. But I, I, I would love to have something a bit more expensive, but I will never take it out, so. Um, did you see the, the yeah. P Pete's talking about some expensive PRS John Mega <laughs> that much to that my I, surprise he rather likes. That I got to play and I ended up liking it. Anyway, next, yeah. that's another video, hey. I don't know what you were hearing, but I'm. I'm it sounds a bit more lively this, that one. This sounds a bit more. Um, just, just. Yeah. There's a bit more in this yeah. one. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Could be strings. Could be. Could be. I don't know. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like it. <laughs> Keep playing majors to minors today. Yeah, as a uh, an ending for a traditional folk song. Sort of a medieval uh, yeah. folk song. Yeah. Um, and then the <laughs> died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, sorry. Good. So they're lovely guitars. FS uh, links will be below. Picky, 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 picky. Sorry. Okay. Apologies for all the wrong notes in that. Um, that will come soon enough. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. a nice little jam. It sounds good. It, sounds it does, really nice. actually. Really this, like one, this one, um, it, I, there's something about the liveliness of that one I like, but I yeah. think this one has a strength when you when you pick it. It, it has a good, um, yeah. like a fundamental of note. <laughs> not that you should be doing, not you should, I mean, there's no money up there, but. <laughs>
like the fundamental in this. Yeah. It seems like quite a this strong tone. This is softer. Tone. It's yeah. a softer. It might be. It's been played a bit in the shop. It might be the strings of, uh, you know. But still. Yeah. Like it. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Yep. Let's um, move. One, th one thing I would okay, say yeah, is quick. that. Um, so I'm used to a guitar that has a very wide string spacing, both here and here. Yes. And uh, so on the upside, if if uh, you like it kind of comfortable and strummy and all the rest of it, and just with enough room to get in there, you'll really like this. If like me, you're used to like probably another a at bit. least five mil, if not yeah. more. Um, it, it, I was struggling a bit with the picking. Yeah. Just because yeah. I'm used to a different guitar. But I think what that does is it actually makes it really friendly, which suits the price point as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit easier if you, you, yeah. And like everything, it's just you just get used to it. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I'm used to you. So we've just got bigger, FG. Hello. Um, this was, so this was what appeared in, uh, or something more like that in fact, but in any case, 50 years ago, yeah. uh, 50 years of the FG. Although I gotta say, these look a bit squarer shaped to me. Anyway, it's whatever. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a dreadnought it's a kind dreadnought. of shape, isn't it? It's a dreadnought shape. Yep. And uh, we can't get away from that. We've moved on. So the guitar that I think we don't have is the 30, right? Yeah. So uh, remember we said that 800 is um, Akume and Sitka Spruce. 820 is Mahogany and Sitka Spruce. Yeah. 830 would then be Rosewood and Sitka Spruce, which okay. is kind of the middle of the, the range. We don't yeah. have one of those here. And now we're moving on to the 40. Maple. Which is maple, as you can see, flame maple. Yeah. And the 50, which is all mahogany. Yeah. So this has a mahogany top as well. Yeah. That has is that a, a solid top. mahogany top on that one? Solid mahogany yeah. top, yeah, they're all solid tops. Again, um, Yamaha's redone the bracing in, in the 800, so they're scallop bracing. Yeah. Bigger body, obviously, with the uh, with the FG, so we should be expecting a bit more. Sound. A bit more sound. And again, hashtag start here FG. Yeah. Go for it. Do it. Nice. Okay. So shall we shall we head back to our favourite chord? We shall. In fact, let's let's just mix it up a bit. Mix it up a let's, bit. Let's you know, if we're going to play mindless open chords, <laughs> <laughs> let's try this one. The best chords of all, by the way. Nice. Yeah, so I got, really you, like this. You had a chance to hear the um, strum, strummed and picked. They're both. I think they're both. Um, although we're talking about smaller body with the other two, there's kind of there's a brightness. They're bright. Would you say? Yeah, I feel it's bright. I feel, it, of course, the more sound. I've, I've kind of hear more sound. I feel more yeah. resonant when I'm from the guitar on yeah. me. Um, I would associate both maple and. Uh, mahogany when it comes to backs and sides to have this kind of more uh, it's got a different mid-range thing going on yeah so mahoganies and rosewoods tend to be or rosewoods tend to be a little bit deeper and more colorful in the low mids yeah i think mahogany has a kind of more upper mid push but yeah. i think maple takes it up it again and you just get that that's i think that's why they make such good jumbos maple guitars because you get a fairly scoopy uh 
uh, type of overall EQ curve. Yeah. But I've uh, that's I like that. Yeah, I do like that. I like both well. of these actually. And what's the price point of that? Of course, the links will be below. Uh, the, the, so that was nine pence. Three. This is about eleven pence, I think. <laughs> about three hundred fifty quid. Yeah, it's crazy for this one. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. I mean, we talk, we're talking about the, So those are the prices taken off Anderson's website today, 355 quid, I think, which might not be... 2016, the, yeah. yeah. The, the full retail might be a little bit more than that, but... Um, um, yeah, um, um, and we talked about this before. It's incredible what you can get for your money now when you're starting out as a guitar. Yeah, there's so much... It is So much great choice, you know. I mean, this is probably... If I was, if I was, you know, let's say 12 or 14 years old, this might be a little bit too big to sit with. Then you would sort of pick something that's a bit smaller. But Depends again... if you were born of giants, my friend. Yeah, yes. Like the Big Friendly Giant. If you haven't watched The Big Friendly Giant, I highly recommend going watching it because that's a great film. Have you watched that? Uh, no. The Big Friendly Giant. Lovely film. Yeah. Absolutely. It made me cry, made me laugh. It made me cry again, made me laugh again. Don't cry. And um, it was great. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Tangent TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, what were we saying? Oh, yes. oh, we're just saying about bigger, bigger bodies. Yeah. And, you know, it's incredible what you get for your money today. You know, you get so much... Guitar for your money, it's incredible. It's mad. I would imagine that we both started out on a guitar that wasn't entirely di dissimilar to that one behind you. Uh, my first guitar was a Hono Electric. Oh, okay. A Strat. Was it, it was copy. a 58 Flying V, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum's Oscar Teller from 71, so... Yeah. Which, but that, uh, that, which, that just... Even though the guitars looked a bit like that when we were kids, yeah, they were they just never a sound mile like that. away from yeah, it, yeah. weren't they? They were shocking. A mile away. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's try this again with this guitar here. And uh, here is, uh, so we play the same thing? Up to you, mate. I like this as well. I like that. I like this. I like those. I, if I if I had three hundred fifty quid, like, you can't go wrong with this guitar, really. I don't think it's mad as well because you've got all that. I keep saying it's mad. It's not mad at all. It's perfectly sane. Yeah. But um, abalone, resin abalone there, inlays and, super tiny. and a nice little lovely uh, binding oh, yeah, around here. Binding. Look at that. I know. And and a, and so it's got a little black line and then a little another color line wood and then another line. It's just there's a lot of work going into this. Yeah, I mean, f for for that amount of money, what? Yeah, it's incredible. It really is incredible. It looks tidy inside. Yeah, scallop bracing. Scallop bracing. <laughs> I mean, there's, so there's no electrics in these. There's no there's no pickups or anything. But of course, you can just get put one in if you want. Yeah. You know, you, you I can imagine you probably save hundred pounds or something like that if you want to pick a pickup in your, in your guitar. I don't know how much they are these days, but some somewhere around that, maybe even depends, more. Depends. Depends what you have. Yeah. Pickups are really sort of divisive um, subject for a lot of people because. It really adds to the perceived value of the guitar at a store level. Yeah. So you think, oh, you know, I can get this one for 300 quid or for 350 quid, I can get that one with a pickup. Yeah. But the question you should then ask yourself is, what are they taken out to get that pickup in there for the extra 50 quid? Exactly. Or or, or do I really need the pickup? Yeah. Am I ever going to use it? I'm, I'd rather spend 350 quid on a nicer guitar with, uh, you know, no mm. pickup in. And at some point, if I really want to, I spend... 100, 150 quid on a pickup. Yeah, I like it. I like because it, it keeps the guitars relatively lightweight. Yeah, yeah. And you, pff, with I, the scallop I, bracing and everything. And if you are, just... you know, if you are, this, they're quite they're, and they're old fashioned, aren't they? Because you've got a on the back there. Yeah. You've got your um, your strap lock, but there's no strap locks anywhere else. No second strap lock. So so it's kind of it is like they were, isn't it? 
it's like they've just re remade the guitars. Yeah, but I, I you rather, can have one put on. I, or you I, can use I mean, the... I don't have a, a, a Yamaha FG guitar from the seventies. No, but I would rather suspect these. Okay, so they made. Uh, it's worth saying that Yamaha made. FGs in Japan and they were really very very nice guitars yeah. played yeah. by James Taylor famously of course and, and plenty of other people over the years and then as, as it goes on the um, obviously looking to bring the price point down and more competitive and all the rest of it um, I just I think once you get to this point where you've got this level of spec at this price yeah it's just a no-brainer yeah it's a great you know yeah yeah and they make lawnmowers and motorcycles <laughs> do they? I thought that was Honda <laughs> no no, Yamaha makes motorcycles and oh no, they make motorcycles. Yeah. Like, maybe they, they don't like they make they make boat engines. Then. Yeah, yeah, boat boat engines. It's quite a funny one. I was at that like kind of rackets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, but it must be different. I don't know. Yeah. It's like Dunlop, isn't it? Then you get a tennis racket that says Dunlop on it, and then there's tires that says Dunlop on it. That's and different then companies. It says, I know, it's, but it's still you know confusing. <laughs> it's just made out of tires. Is that a Dunlop pick made out of tires? <laughs> Oh, my tennis shoes are made of, you know. <laughs> I think Yamaha is the same corporation, though. It must be. Yeah. It, it says Yamaha Corp, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, okay. there we go. That was in there. <laughs> 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 I think it's time that we need to go and get some lunch. Yes. And uh, uh, just have a coffee, have some lunch, and reflect on um, <laughs> what's happened today so far. <laughs> Because already it's been a very uh, interesting and uh, eventful day. Mm. Yeah, it's been early, it's been late, and uh, this was acoustic parody. So it was the Yamaha FG and FS guitars, eight hundred series, eight hundred series, the new yep. one. Come and check them in. <coughs> Come in and check them out in the store. All the links will be below. And um, my name was James. <laughs> I'm Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Derek. Yeah. I'm Pete. I'm Mick. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, okay. please. See ya. <laughs> You're on drugs. <laughs> yeah.